このジョルノ・ジョバーナには言う YouTube sorry I haven't been posting it for a while uh been some going on doing some other stuff but I might have to show you how to make a pizza well partially how to make a pizza so you know you got your dough right here let me bring you over here so to make your dough like this grab some pizza crust or flour or both it doesn't really matter put like a little bit of water in and just start mixing it with your hand or like a spoon and then like just keep mixing it up and if you need more flour like if it's so doughy put more flour or pizza crust in and then mix it up and keep mixing it until it gets like you know all doughy just like this right and once you do that you know you want to like flatten it out just like how I did over here on my pizza and if you want cheesy like cheesy crust pizza then before you put the marinara sauce on there and you have just the dough, put the cheese all around on the edges first and then start wrapping around under, right? Wrapping the crust under the pizza. And then once you do that, then you put on the marinara. You put on the marinara sauce and you start smearing it all over. And then you want to grab whatever cheese you have, mozzarella, mixed blend, whatever cheese you got, shredded cheese. Make sure it's shredded cheese. And then you want to sprinkle it all around, put the pepperoni on, and then... Whatever you want to put else on there. For me, I have my chicken and my bacon. So I would grab my chicken and bacon, start sprinkling around. So let's go. We're going to start with the chicken first. Grab the chicken. And just start, you know, sprinkling it around and around and around. Oh, messed up my pepperoni. But, you know, just, you know, make sure it's all spread out as best as you can. Come over here. Grab more of your chicken, spread it out over here, spread it out evenly all over the place, so that it's not in one spot, right? It doesn't matter what kind of chicken you got, make sure you cook the chicken first though, because if it's just raw chicken, it's not going to cook thoroughly around how it's supposed to. So then make sure you know you want to grab your chicken, spread it all around, make sure it's spread evenly all over the place, grab some more chicken. I'm going to grab some bacon this time, too. Come over here. Keep spreading it. Just like this. Try to fill in all the open areas as you can. Just like this. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here. Grab some more of my bacon. Start sprinkling my bacon around. Just like this. I was so... Come over, grab as much as you can, bring it back, keep sprinkling it all over, but again, make sure it's evenly. If you have a lot, like I do, just make sure, a lot, make sure you spread it out so that it's not just piled in one spot, otherwise it's going to turn out kind of trash and all floppy, and that's not what we want. No siree, bring it over here, keep bringing it, you know, spreading it. Got a little bit left. Grab some more of your bacon and your chicken. Keep spreading. Keep spreading as so. When you do that, you want to preheat your oven to put it on bake 420. Let it heat up because there's going to be a preset timer. And you put it over here. Come on, just keep making. Make sure it's all pretty, like, you know, set to your standards, to your liking. Just like how you like it. And then, once you have it as so, make sure you have no more bacon or whatever you got. Make sure it's all spread around. And once you do that, hold on. Uh, timer, 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to go with 13 minutes. Once you do that, I'm going to grab your pizza. Put it at the bottom rack or the first rack. Whichever rack you started off with first. Hold on. Okay. Hold on one more. Whichever rack that you started off with, cook it for about mm, maybe like six minutes and then switch it depending on how much time you, you know, you put it on to cook it. Split it evenly. So you want to start it. If you start on the top rack, cook it on an even amount and then put it on the bottom rack. And if you start with the bottom rack, you know, cook it for an even amount of time and put it on the top rack. 10 to 15 minutes. Do not forget that. And then once you do that, 
you'll just wait and wait, and I guarantee your pizza is going to turn out beautiful. Johnny bitch, Johnny bitch. Oh, you don't know.